Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. Yes, we have the video out right now. Um, I am so glad I am doing this video. I've gotten so many DMs on Instagram ever since I showed the two bottles by the House of Greedy, which is Tutu X-Straight and Born to be Free. And I'm super excited to be talking about those fragrances today. I do have a 180p and then the other two are X-Straights. And uh, yeah, we gonna get into this fragrance review. And like I said, thank you, you all who have congratulated me on my 500 videos over here on YouTube. I can't believe I've literally done 500 videos for YouTube. Some of them are shorts, but probably about 450 50 of those are actual uh, 30 to 45 minute videos. Yeah, I've been putting in a lot of work, but I'm loving it at the same time. So I appreciate all the congratulations, all the support, and all the love that I have been receiving over here on YouTube. Um, and that being said, follow me on Instagram. It's Marshmallow. Um, M A R C E M E L L zero W. You guys haven't heard that in a long time. Uh, but follow me over on Instagram. We just have a lot of fun, lives, reels, all of that. I'm a music lover. Um, I'm a chocolate coffee gourmand lover, like all of that, you guys. So um, I appreciate everyone. And like I said, appreciate all the love and support. So y'all, let's get into the House of Greedy. I have three full bottles and then I have... Um, two samples that we're gonna discuss today. And then I'll give you a comparison with one. So the very first time I smelled this fragrance, I think I heard about it through, actually I didn't hear about it through Demi Rawlings first. I heard about it through my girl Farida. Farida, she has such an amazing collection. And I told her, she's yellow scents over on Instagram. She needs to be a fragrance reviewer because when I tell you this girl, when I say she has it all, she has it all. I thought I had it all, but she has it all. Like everything that I'm like, oh, Farida, have you heard about this? Oh yeah, I purchased it a couple months ago. I'm like, geez, Farida. Um, she'll send me a sample. So I heard about this fragrance. Um, Farida sent me a sample of this fragrance. Uh, when she sent me a sample of Baby Cat as well. So um, I was super excited and I was like, mm, it's very, very nice. And I contemplated, bu contemplated buying the bottle uh, because of the beautiful bottle. It's a very opulent, bold, rich, wealthy looking bottle. And uh, I think Luca Greedy stated that it reminded, reminded him of a family heirloom jewelry box. So I could totally see that because I remember having a velvet jewelry box. It was red with gold all over it. Their bottle, uh, Duquesa, is black with gold all over it. So that being said, we are going to be talking about, first off, uh, one of the samples, which is Duquesa uh, by Greedy. Now, I did have a I think it was like an eight or 10 ml sample of this that I used when I wore it over in Canada. And then I have a little bit more of the sample left, which I already sprayed on my hand for today's review. So um, the reason why I did not purchase this fragrance, like I like it, but I was looking for like the most beautiful, luscious, uh, slightly gourmand leaning, but wearable cherry fragrance. And I found that in Bodicea the Victoria's Bodacious which I absolutely love. It's almondy, it's cherry, it's boozy, it's woody, it's tobacco, it's all of that. And I also love Aaron Terrence Hughes' Raw Cherry. Ooh, the dry down now on Raw Cherry is amazing. I wore Raw Cherry last week or this past weekend um, as my scent, if you follow me over on Instagram. So I wore Raw Cherry. Now, Raw Cherry is smoky. It is what Tom Ford's uh, cherry smoke should have been or wanted to be, y'all. Uh, raw cherry is an absolutely amazing fragrance with the citruses. Uh, I think there's blood orange, there's mandarin, there's lemon, there's cacao in there. Um, there's a really rich note of like stewed, uh, slightly tart cherry in the fragrance, y'all. It is gorgeous. So I wore that, um, for the most part of the day. And then I wanted to kind of, you know, it was getting towards the evening. I wanted to feel a little more sensual sexy, not so bold and bright. So I layered it with Rouge Smoking. When I tell you 
Raw Cherry by Aaron Terrence Hughes and Rouge Smoking got me so many compliments as I shopped for Easter dinner. It did, y'all. It was absolutely amazing. I fell in love with Rouge Smoking all over again because I usually don't wear Rouge Smoking. Um, I don't reach for it as often, but I don't know why. I think I did a reel on cherry fragrances. So um, that day I decided to layer the two together and y'all, I got like three or four compliments in the grocery store. This lady actually found me in the grocery store aisle. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all this real quick story and then we're gonna get into these fragrances. So she kept saying, I guess she was with her mother and she, she finally ran up to me off to the, off the side, kind of scared me a little bit. And I was like, and she was like, oh, she said, I've been following your trail and your scent. She said around the store. And initially she said, I thought it was this old lady. So I was like, oh, is she telling me I smell like an old lady? Like what is, what's going on? So she said, no. And then she said, it's not her. And she said, I started to follow the siash. She didn't say siash. She said, I started to follow the trail and the smell and it led me to aisle 14 okay <laughs> so um she said what do you have on i said do you have instagram she said no i said do you have uh youtube she said no because i was going to actually show her or you know just recommend her you know because every time somebody asks me what i'm wearing i'm like okay follow me on youtube follow me on instagram dm me you know i can give you the information because she didn't have a pen or anything on her so anyway I pulled my Instagram up, so I was able to click. My, I told her to take a picture. I put my finger, you know how you could stop a reel. I put my finger on uh, Aaron Terrence Hughes' Raw Cherry, um, and at the time, I already had it layered. I said, I have on two different things. That is the only problem with, with layering fragrances because you want to tell somebody that you have on one fragrance as opposed to two because most likely, they're only going to buy one. They're, who's going to go on my two fragrance but a frag head? You know, and she wasn't. So, um... I said, I think you might want to try. I think you, you're really smelling rouge smoking. I said, what do you smell in the grocery store? I said, do you smell tobacco or like a cigar? Um, she's like, no, I smell like more of a creamy cherry almondy. I said, you're probably smelling rouge smoking. So I put my finger on the reel and I stopped it at rouge smoking and I said, okay, take a picture of that. So anyway, it was like a whole five minute conversation, but y'all, yeah, that combination is amazing. So if you have Raw Cherry by ATH, um, Aaron Terrence Hughes, and if you have Rouge Smoking or any other tobacco cherry scent, layer it with Rouge Smoking. Even Love Fest, you guys, layer it with Rouge Smoking. It's it's gonna be stunning, okay? Um, anyway, back to Greedy. So the reason why I did not purchase Greedy is because being um, talking about... You know, it's a really nice fragrance, but did it beat out my Bodacious by Bodicea? Uh, no, it did not. And it wasn't the rich, like wealthy, opulent saffron that I needed it to be, but it's a nice fragrance. But it also smelled like Kayali's Love Fest to me, but I got more of the woody, creamy Palo Santo in here, more of a beautiful blend in Love Fest. But yes, these are both giving you that um, scent, that tart cherry scent, or sour cherry scent of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry on top of some other notes. I really don't get the saffron in this fragrance. Um, it probably just brightens it up a little bit. Um, I do get the cloves. I get a lot of cloves. I get some woodiness. I get some tobacco in here, but it doesn't list it, you know? So in Greedy, um, you have your, I think there's like a black cherry. There's a saffron flower in here. Um, there's bitter orange, cloves, cacao, almond, and there's brown sugar. Now, it's a beautiful bottle, you know. It's a nice scent. It's a really pretty scent. But is it worth, it's a, and it's an extra, you guys. But is it worth $300 when you can get Kay Alley's Love Fest? Basically the same scent, you know. Longevity is amazing on me. I don't know about you guys, but I get about eight hours out of Love Fest. You know, very beautiful cherry Palo Santo. You get the raspberry in here as well. Like I get all of that. Um, there's also, it's patchouli, guayac wood, but I definitely get the praline, the raspberry, the sweetness, you know, um, in there there's brown, sh in uh, Duquesa, Greedy, there's brown sugar, there's praline in here. So you pretty much get the same nuance, the same fragrance, but you get this one for half the price. So that is why I opted to not purchase Duquesa. Um, and yeah, and there was something missing. 
from Ducasa, but it is nice. It's a nice smoky, woody, cherry fragrance, but I love the Palo Santo in this one and the raspberry as well, y'all, on top of the cherry and the woodiness. So y'all, this is my choice, okay? So anyway, but a beautiful fragrance if you don't have access to um, Kay Alley's Love Fest. Um, you know? All right, that's that, y'all. So anyway, the next one we're gonna talk about is... Um, Let's get the samples out of the way, okay? So let's talk about Tutu Blanc. I think Farida sent me Tutu Blanc as well. So in Tutu Blanc, and this is the EDP, okay? We're not talking about uh, Tutu X straight today, um, or right now. So in Tutu Blanc, um, like I said, it's an EDP. Um, you have your pink grapefruit. Some of the notes are very similar in the x -ray as well. So you have your pink grapefruit, black currant, coconut vanilla. You have your apple, jasmine, rose, heliotrope, raspberry, amber. Um, so let's go ahead and spray this. I've smelled this before. I wasn't wild by it. I was like, oh, it's pretty, you know, but I wasn't like, oh, I need a bottle, even though I loved that white bottle with the marbling on top, you know? So what I get from this fragrance, it almost smells a little shampoo-y, like almost a sweet shampoo-y floral fragrance, you know? You know, you definitely get some creaminess to it. Uh, it's a little ambery, like an ambery vanilla, fruity floral, pretty much, with some soapiness or shampooiness to it. But this is very pretty, yes. It is beautiful. It definitely reminds you, I think in this one, um, his fragrances are revolving around dancers. This definitely reminds you of a beautiful dancer with a tutu, like a maybe a white tutu or a cream tutu on. Very young, very youthful, very vibrant, you know? A pretty fragrance, but did it wow me? No, it did not. Would I purchase this EDP for the amount of money? No, but you definitely get like, um, it's very nice for the spring, summer. And this one I would definitely say more for the spring or summer nights because you get a creaminess about this. They use a lot of heliotrope, powdery notes in um, these fragrances, violet. Um, a lot of the notes, if you go and look through like Greedy's collection, um, a lot of the notes are very, very similar. You know, they love black currant as well. But yeah, it's nice. You smell the vanilla, the amber, and a fruity floral, you know? And that's pretty much it. It doesn't smell like, I was about to say, I smell a little bit of rose, but it's not a very like opulent, bright rose in your face. Maybe the rose is kind of like hiding in the background, but a creamy, ambery, fruity scent. That is pretty much what you get in Tutu Blanc. Very innocent smelling, you know? Yeah, I could see any age wearing this, you know. Uh, you could even buy this, like, for your daughter. You know, that's a teenager. You know, maybe she's a ballerina. Maybe she has a recital. You know, maybe she's one of those ballerinas that, you know, they, they always look so beautiful, you know. You know, very delicate. That is what this fragrance is very delicate. You know, but it's pretty, but it's not for me. Um, for that price, it's definitely not for me, okay? Um, all right, so the next one we're gonna talk about is, let's talk about the one that I do have a full bottle of, and this is a Tutu x -Trade. Now, I love this gorgeous bottle, you all. This is what caught my eye. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I love the gold plate on here, the marbling at the top. is The bottles are absolutely stunning. Don't really care too much for the shape, but they do stack up well together, which is really nice, you know. Um, they're very flat and grounded. They don't tip over like our lovely Parfums de Marly fragrances that we also love, but I have to put something in front of it to make sure they don't tip over. All right, yeah, so let's go ahead and um, spray these. The cap is pretty. It's 100 ml x -trade, Um, and I think this one's about $280. So let's go ahead and spray this. Next to, now I did wear this once. I got one compliment for that day. The atomizer is pretty nice, you know? Very, you know, like a shower. Now, compared to the EDP. Now let me, let me read you the notes. Check out the bottle again. Beautiful, 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 gorgeous. Just like, I love looking at this bottle. It's just stunning, you guys. This is a little bit of gold in here. You know, you can't see it. It looks like brown, but 
there's gold in here and almost reminds you of like something something under the sea like the ocean you know like the marbling of an oyster the outside of an oyster oyster shell or something just gorgeous absolutely stunning bottles um so and to do x -rate. um this is supposed to pay pay homage to um ballet dancers as well um it's supposed to pay homage to their beauty their beauty and their strength um it says oh this is the first extract of the white collection as well you guys um so in tutu extract you have your musk you have some grapefruit black currant there's coconut in this one that is not in oh no there's coconut in tutu blanc as well there's coconut there's pink champagne which is not in tutu blanc uh there's jasmine rose raspberry vanilla heliotrope and amber so there's shan there's pink champagne in here you know so it's supposed to be a bit more sparkling fresh now the difference between the two so what i'm getting from tutu extract it's very clean okay i still get that shampooy now in tutu blanc i don't i get the shampooy the soapy notes in the opening but it dries down to a beautiful fruity vanillic amber creamy you know and tutu extract you get that soapiness you still get that amber you get the creaminess from the coconut and you get some fruits but what this the extract i think focuses more on it's musk you know it's more of a, because the musk is in your face in the beginning. So you get that grapefruit, the citruses, and then that musk comes in a couple seconds later. You get the ambers, you get the coconutty, the creamy coconut. This fragrance is still delicate. Um, the soapiness dries down, but you get more of a fruity, musky, not like Herba Pura. Um, Herba Pura is beast, not like the House of Zerzhov or Tiziana Terenzi. It is not that type of musk. This musk is very soft, very delicate, very, just very quiet, you know, very submissive. Uh, if there is such a thing, a submissive musk, you know, submissive to the skin. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, but to me, it's just very, this is a very soft fragrance. Even though it states that it's an extract, you get more of the fruity, musky scent. And the fruits, to me, are brighter. The grapefruit scent is much brighter in Tutu Blanc than in Tutu Extract. And the extract, you still get that musky, vanillic, amber scent. Um, and that champagne scent, it's not sparkling like um, what is Atelier des Ors, like pink, pink me up it is. I love that fragrance. You definitely get that bright, sparkling um, you know, raspberry, uh, red berry champagne scent in there, you know, like a pink mimosa or something. That is not too, too extra. It is not a pink mimosa, even though there's pink champagne in here, you know? But to me, this is more of like a soapy, like a high-end, um, uh, like a high-end shampoo, you know, like herbal essence, you know, on steroids or something, you know? I don't know. Herbal essence is pretty potent, you know? But yeah, it smells like a very pretty, sparkling, pink, um, fruity herbal essence, you know? And it's a little creamy and ambery. So is it worth the money? Uh, would I purchase this again? I'm not going to straight out say it, but would I purchase? If I had a chance to smell this and purchase it because I did blind buy it, would I repurchase this? No, I would not, okay? So um, Tutu X-Rate is nice. It is a very nice scent to wear to church um it is a very nice scent to wear not even not somewhere very intimate some place that where you're going to be in close quarters with people because this is not a even though it's an x-ray it's not a scent that is giving you like major projection um it is not a skin scent but you have to come inside of my bubble in order to smell tutu x-ray unless i completely oversprayed about 20 sprays when i did wear this um the person that did give me the person that gave me the compliment gave me a hug at the end of my shift 
Other than that, I usually get compliments throughout the shift as I walk around. I did not get that from that. The person hugged me at the end of the shift and they said, you smell really good, which tells me that this fragrance is not very projecting because I wear it and the sillage is not beast because I did wear this. Um, I sprayed it about, I usually spray my fragrances about 10 times, you guys. So I know I sprayed it at least 10 to 12 times. And uh, yeah, I got a compliment from a person that actually hugged me all right so anyway moving right along okay yeah it's just really some you know citruses warm citruses not screeching or bright um you get that fruitiness you get some like berries you know some creamy ambery berries you know almost like a little smoothie sort of a berry smoothie in a way you know with some rose yeah, but that's it, y'all. So anyway, the bottle's gorgeous. I'm glad I have it. Uh, but would I repurchase this? No. So the next one we're going to talk about is uh, Gossip Night, okay? Gossip Night is beautiful, you guys. Uh, the bottle is beautiful. We'll get into the fragrance, okay? Um, this is the white bottle. Uh, Tutu Blanc comes in the same bottle um, as this, which I thought was very beautiful. Like the bottles are gorgeous. The same metal plaque on here. Um, Gossip Night is, what does it say on the front? Venet Venetia? Yeah. Anyway, Gossip Night is an EDP. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and spray Gossip Night. In Gossip Night, I was super excited about this fragrance because in Gossip Night, I saw mango blossom. I saw lychee. Um, I saw white peach. I saw heliotrope. Um, there's cream. There's caramel in here. Um, Madagascar vanilla, white musk, and cashmere. All these beautiful, you know, very super feminine, gorgeous notes in this fragrance. So I was super excited. I blind bought this fragrance as well, you guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get enough of blind buying, huh? <laughs> so um, I'm gonna slow down on the blind buying. And I and I have, have I? I think I have, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. So um, anyway, but as of today, I'm gonna slow down on the blind buying, all right? So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. Same automizer. Very nice. So, super excited about the peach and the uh, mango blossom, you guys. So, it's good. It is good, okay? <laughs> so, you definitely get some creamy peaches and some creamy, like a mango, uh, slightly sweetened uh, mango milkshake. Not a rich, thick, heavy, almost like a mango gelato, like a creamy mango gelato, if you will, you know? It's good. You get a creamy peachness and, you know, like I said, that mango, it still gives you that beautiful amber. You know, it's creamy and silky from the cashmere and the white musk. It, it's a really beautiful, delicate, um, yet very projecting fragrance, which gives you a beautiful sillage. And this is an EDP, you guys. So I like, I absolutely love Gossip Night, you know? Yeah, I definitely see. It's a little boozy too. I don't know if it's the peach and the the peach blossom and the mango mixed together, but I'm getting some booziness, like some rum, like a creamy rum from this fragrance. Yeah, I love it. I smell sandalwood, even though it's not listed, like a creamy sandalwood. It's such a beautiful fragrance, but maybe it's the caramel and the... Um, Oh, well, there's cream in here. So yeah, maybe all of the other background woody fragrances that they didn't list um, on top of the cream in here, it's making it delicious. Um, this is a very wearable, gore, slightly leaning gourmand scent. Um, this reminds me of the, like a sophisticated gourmand. You know, the very first time I said I smelled a sophisticated, a, a sophisticated gourmand was in Swamalaki. So I was like, how can a gourmand be luxurious and sophisticated at the same time? That is definitely Swamalaki and it is definitely Gossip Night, you guys. Such a beautiful, like a creamy, like a creamy mango peachy milkshake um, that's silky as well, you guys. 
Anyway, Gossip Night is beautiful. It lasted 12 hours on my clothes. I got multiple, uh, I'm sorry, multiple comments from Gossip Night. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend this fragrance. And since this is an EDP, this is actually a little more affordable than the X-Ray, but it performs better on my skin and on my clothes um, than the actual X-Ray, you guys. Go figure, you know? Anyway, I am loving Gossip Night. Um, out of the two, which one would I purchase? Tutu Extra or Gossip Night? Gossip Night all the way. I would repurchase this if I ran out of this fragrance, y'all. Anyway, get your nose on it. Greedy's Gossip Night. So, the next one we're going to smell, it's just creamy, creamy, fruity goodness that you can wear all, actually, you can wear this one all year long. It's thick enough, but yet airy enough for the summertime and thick enough um, for the fall, winter, and the spring. Just absolutely beautiful. It kind of gives me, it's reminiscent of a Juicette. You get more of that peach and that apricot in there um, and that rich vanilla, you know, like a tart or a madeleine. It's slightly reminiscent, but a little more elegant. Um, Juicette's Madeleine de Pousse, Accident à l'Avenir Madeleine de Pousse is more of a gourmand. This one is more of a wearable gourmand. If you want something rich and a little more heavier on the vanilla, and the tart fruits, then you might want to try a uh, Juicette's Accident à la Vanille, the flanker, which is Madeleine de Pouste, Madeleine de Pouste with the peach and the apricot. Stunning as well, you guys. Um, so anyway, the next one we're going to talk about is um, this name of this fragrance kind of like resonated with me and this is because i'm free you guys um i did put a little bit of a dent in there because i wore this three times already and i sprayed at least 10 times each time i wore this i got multiple compliments at work on this fragrance um initially when i smelled this i wasn't excited the first sniff but i smelled this and i ran out of the house so i was like oh no not another bubble gummy tuberose so anyway I don't have any bubble gummy tuberose fragrances in my collection, you know, and now I understand what people are talking about when they say a bubble gummy tuberose. But when I tell you this fragrance transitions, it completely transitions, y'all. This one is my favorite because I'm free. Smells like that. Um, did I spray something over here? Yeah, I did. And I sprayed. Let's spray it on my hand, you guys. I don't have anything on my hand. So, oh, can't waste it. Oh, so because I'm free, beautiful bottle. Let me show you the bottle first. It's very fingerprinty, but um, stunning, stunning bottle. Red, you can see through it with a gold plaque, very heavy, greedy on the top. Love this. And this one says Venetian also, um, but let's go ahead and spray this. Y'all, this one gave me the best sillage. Like, absolutely stunning, okay? And I lit up the entire unit, and people love the scents, you know? So, in the opening, you definitely... At first, I was like, oh, is this Linter D in a bottle? You know, um, the Linter D was giving me a little bit of the same vibes when I initially sprayed this. Uh, but then it changed, y'all. It became uh, much more elegant, okay? So, ah, this one is so good. So, in the opening, you definitely get that dusted, like, uh, what's the the pink bubble gum that was in the wrapper with the comics? That is what this is giving me slightly in the opening with the powder. More like not the actual bubble gum, but the powder on the outside of the bubble gum. Ooh, on top of the woodiness, the citruses, yeah, ooh, all of that, y'all. This one is good. Because I'm free is my favorite. So because I'm free, I'm, I'm not, because, I, because I'm free, you guys, sorry. I put on here, born to be free. So because I'm free is an extra. Um, and this is supposed to uh, remind you of just being youthful, free. They said flash dancing, living your life. You know, as you should, we all should be living our lives 
um, you know, under our rules, you know, alone and not somebody else's. So aside from when you have to go to work, if you don't work for yourself. So, and because I'm free, um, it's fresh, it's very zesty, it's beautiful, a very fresh, zesty, fruity floral scent. So it's an extract, um, and it gets creamy and a little powdery in the dry down. So in here, you have some candied fruits, you have some petite grain, you have some almond blossom tuberose. If you don't like tuberose, I think you're still going to love this fragrance, so sample it. Um, you have some banana blossom, ooh, y'all, banana blossom, caramel, amber, and vanilla. So what I get, it's good. It is very hard to explain. You get the petite grain, which adds a little bit of an edge, a little slight bitter greenness to this fragrance, not like Centra. Centra has an overdose of petite grain. This one just gives it that little bit of like, a little tinge of um, greenness and like bitterness on your tongue, you know? Not your tongue, in your nose. But y'all, the apple, is it apple blossom in here? Um, Cause I smell apple, no, almond blossom. You get the almond, the tuberose. You get that, yeah, you definitely get a beautiful almond in here. The petite grain, you get the, I guess the candied fruits mimics the bubblegummy tuberose scent, you know? That bubblegummy tuberose kind of went away, so now you're getting more of the apple blossom, some fruits, some petite grain. This is absolutely gorgeous. The caramel, amber. Um, this fragrance is blended amazing and very well. Like it completely transitions. It's creamy now. It's like that creamy, fruity, almondy scent, but you still get a little bit of that candied notes, like almost like a Jordan almond in a way. The Jordan almond or the almonds that you have, or drage, is it drage? Is that what they call it? The almonds, the candy cover almonds that you have at a wedding. So you get that, it's a little dry, you get the petite grain, you get that creamy tuberose, the sweetness, the powderiness. It's a little ambery, vanilla, vanillic, you know? Y'all, this is a stunning fragrance. I love because I'm free. Um, like I said, initially upon first, uh, upon first spray, uh, you might be like, oh, do I smell, have I smelled this before? Is this designer? Uh, but y'all, it quickly transitioned to an absolutely stunning fragrance. And I love because I'm free. Not only do I love the name, but I love the perfume. This is my favorite out of every single one of them, you know? Yeah, this one's my favorite, you guys. Yeah. That, that almond blossom, yeah, and that petite grain and the fruitiness of it. It's rich, it's sensual, it's gorgeous. Anyway, get your nose on because I'm free. Moving right along because we only have like a couple more for So the next one we're gonna talk about is a sample from Lucky Scent. And uh, this is, I think it's pronounced uh, Dame Delisle. Um, and in this fragrance, you know, this is an EDP. Um, to me, this fragrance is definitely unisex. I already rubbed it on this finger, you guys. Um, so in here, you have your lime bergamot cotton candy, uh, jasmine rose jam. You have some vanilla musk and amber. And this is supposed to uh, be like poetic, means poetic, sensuality, um, and strong delicacy as well. To me, this fragrance is slightly unisex leaning. Um, it's not too sweet. You get a little bit of a slight edge of the sweetness with the cotton candy, but it's not a very like strong in your face, sticky sweet cotton candy. It's like almost barely there, you know? Um, It's pretty though. It's actually, it's not unisex. I would say it's feminine as well, you know? But the bergamot and the lime kind of gives it a slight brightness, but it's still a little creamy. Um, I don't get a really bright lime and bergamot, which I was expecting a beautiful lime and a cotton candy, you know, kind of like you had like a lime lemonade and you dip some pink cotton candy inside, you know, it's a musky, ambery, um, slightly bergamot citrusy fragrance with a little bit of cotton candy, but it's more of a musky, ambery scent. 
it's pretty. It is very pretty. Would I, if I purchased this, it would have to be on a complete sale, y'all. Half price. Because to me, um, buying this fragrance for the price is totally not worth it, you know? To me, but maybe to you, it might be, you know? But it's not projecting enough for me. It's actually almost giving me slight vibes of Herba, like it's a watery Herba Pura, sort of, you know? It's nice, but for me, like I wouldn't purchase this one because you can get these, the same scent in like Tiziana Terenzi. It's, it, it's giving you a little Tiziana Terenzi DNA. You know, they love musk and they love ambers. Um, Paolo and Tiziana, they love those types of notes as well. So I'm getting that musky, ambery um, scent from, you know, nuance that Tiziana Terenzi gives, but you also get the fruits in their fragrances as well, you know? So this is nice. Uh, but I said, out of all the ones that I'm talking about today, so far, this one I would say would be more unisex than the other ones because they're all super feminine, you know? Anyway, this is Dame Delisle. All right, so the next one we're going to discuss by Greedy is Your So Vain. And every time I say this, this is like my second sample from Lucky Scent. I want to sing that song. You're so vain. You probably think the song is about you. You're so vain. <laughs> and that song stays in my head. You probably think the song is about you. Don't you? Don't you? So anyway, you guys, so this is your so vain. So when I saw that name, I like literally sang that song, okay? So in your so vain, um, your so vain is an X straight, you guys. So um Dame Delisle is an EDP if I didn't mention it, but your so vain is an X straight. In your so vain, you have your grapefruit lemon, you have some green notes. Um, when I read Green Notes, the fragrance that I have with like a ton of Green Notes in there is Accento Overdose and the Green Notes and the Aldehydes are amazing on top of the fruits. So anyway, and you're so vain and I already smell it. So it smells like it's extra performing. Um, you have your grapefruit, lemon, Green Notes, black currant, red fruits, white tobacco, okay, um, oak moss, patchouli, and nutmeg. So your so vain is nice. It is really nice. I really like it a lot. It is very fresh. It is very bright. It is very definitely for the summertime. I could definitely see myself purchasing your so vain, you guys. Yes, you get those grapefruits, those citruses. You get a little bit of green notes as well. You know, a little bit of the green notes. You get that tobacco, that woodiness, the smokiness from the white tobacco. You know, this one's definitely unisex, you know. But that smoky tobacco scent mixed with the green notes and the citruses and the fruitiness of this fragrance is beautiful. Yeah, this one's really good. I probably would have purchased this one if I would have sampled it first before I would have purchased 2-2-X straight, you guys. Your So Vain is really good, you know? Does it smell similar to some things I have in my fragrance? Your So Vain, I get lime. The lime that I thought was in Dom, Del Dom Delisle, I thought it would smell like Your So Vain. This smells like somebody that's walking around cocky and vain and, you know, ready to, you know, I wouldn't say cocky, confident, okay? Um, but yeah, this smells like a very confident person in the summertime with white linen, some glasses, a hat, you know, walking in, you know, the south of France, you know, on the beach, you know, wind blowing with their linen on. Just gorgeous sunglasses, like unbothered. That is what this fragrance smells like. So yeah, I'm loving your so vain, you guys. This might be my next greedy purchase, you know, your so vain. I really, really, let's, I'm just going to wear the rest of it for today. Yeah, I just got, I have your so vain everywhere, okay? Um, so I'm going to wear this on my hand for the rest of the day to see if I do want to purchase a full bottle, but you know, by the smell of your Sauvain, you know, the tobacco scent and all the fruitiness and the brightness, 
you know, it smells like lime on top of lemon, you know, but the great, the black currants, the red fruits, white tobacco, oak moss. Ooh, y'all, your soul vein is good. So this may be, this may be coming back with me. I said, this may be coming home with me. This may be, uh, being mailed to me. Yeah, it's almost giving me, um, Malibu in a way. You know, it's around those fragrances. That is, that's what it's giving. Um, dare I say slight God of Fire, but God of Fire has like a really, there's something in God of Fire that's not, I gotta, that fragrance has to calm down. But when I initially spray it, I sneeze. But God of Fire, there's an abrasiveness to it, a really striking tartness. It's fresh. That booziness, I, I just need it to be blended a little bit better. Uh, but I like the fragrance. But if you like fragrances like God of Fire, but with a little more smooth in, smoothness and white tobacco, Simone Andrioli's Malibu, um, Tales from Zanzibar, but that's my baby because it has that, ooh, that guava note in there is amazing. Yeah, this is good, y'all. Your Sylvain is good. Anyway, this video is long enough, you guys. I'm so sorry for keeping you so long. Um, get your nose on these fragrances. Definitely, really, really like this one, but love uh, Your Sylvain, love Born to Be Free, and I really love Gossip Night, you guys. And like I said, this one... This one's on the list, okay? All right, anyway, go on to the world. Have an amazing day. Um, spread amazing sillage. Do good, be good, all of that. And y'all, yeah, order some samples from Lucky Sand. Get your nose on this house. And even though I love the bottle of Duquesa, um, I wonder what color bottle your so vain comes in. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm acting pretty vain right now too. You know, worried about colored bottles and you know the style of everything so anyway get your nose on these scents make sure they're definitely not blind by worthy um do not blame me for anything sample them first okay you guys let me know what you think down in the comments if you have these fragrances if you're interested um if you have some that i didn't talk about today all right all right go on to the world spread amazing see do good be good all of that and love you all bye bye everybody Mwah.